every major feature that the engineering team implements, there are many smaller enhancements that rarely get discussed but can have a dramatic impact on the way we work, increasing efficiency and making our time spent in Photoshop more enjoyable. Let's take a look at five of these different hidden gems. The first one that I want to point out is the color palette. We can see that it's been redesigned. I'll go ahead and drag it out of its dock, and you can see that I can make this now as large as I want to. Not only do we have this new hue cube, we also have the option of a brightness cube. And of course, with either of those, I can also choose to show the RGB or any of the other spectrums at the top. I think this is going to be a much more convenient way for people to select colors as opposed to always having to click on your foreground and background color swatch and using that modal dialog. So let's go ahead and pick a green color, and then I will dock that back with my swatches panel. And let's take a look at the enhancements made to our brushes. Let's go ahead and expand both our brush presets as well as our brush panel. And you'll notice right here at the top, you can see the last seven brushes that I've used. So every time I select a brush and then I paint with that brush in my image area, Photoshop will add that brush to my recently used brushes. You'll also notice that when I select a preset, that preset has a highlight around it. In this case, it's blue. And if I were to go in and maybe select a different brush here and then make a change to that brush, and most of the time here, I want to make a change like, like maybe color dynamics and change the hue, saturation, and brightness. Because if I were to only change the size, then depending on whether or not the brush was saved with the size setting or not, would determine whether or not I've actually altered the brush. So here I made a big change to the color dynamics, and you can see now that the highlight is no longer blue, but in fact it is orange. So now when I paint with this brush, you can see that it's added to my recent brushes, but I can always go back to any of my other recently used brushes. Now, while we're talking about painting as well as colors, let's take a look at the swatches panel. You'll notice that the swatches panel now also shows my most recently used swatches. So every time I select a color here, you can watch as it's added to the front of the swatches panel. In addition, there have been changes made to the ability to sync our settings. If I choose the Photoshop menu and then Preferences and we come down to Sync Settings, we've really simplified this and we give you the option here to either choose to upload the settings. So if I was at work and I wanted to upload the settings so that when I got home, I could download them, I would simply click Upload from Work and Download when I get home. It also provides a log telling me when was the last time I used the sync settings, as well as how large the file size was of those settings that I did choose to sync. And of course, we can always come in here and customize what it is that we want to sync in case some of these files are really large and we don't want to take the time to do it. While we're in these preferences, let's take a look at this new feature here at the bottom. This is the experimental features area. This means that as features are in the process of being developed, if you want to get your hands on them before they're actually a part of the product, you can go ahead and enable them here in order to start using them. And of course, you can always click learn more in order to learn more about that feature. Now, I know that was five things, but I want to just share three more things with you. The first one is going to be found underneath the filter menu. When you choose liquify now, sometimes when you're liquefying along the edge of a document, you want to make sure that you have the option here to pin the edges so that your edges don't get pulled away from the edge of the file. So that's a great new feature. In addition, if some of you want to create your own color lookup table, you can now create your own by simply adding the adjustment layers that you want to your file and then choosing File, Export, and choosing the Color Lookup Tables option. And finally, for any of you who are in an educational environment, if you ever want to reset your tools, if you right mouse click on the icon for the tool up here in the Options bar, when you choose to reset all of the tools, not only does it reset all of the default settings, but it will also reset all of the tools here. It used to be that, say for example, if you had the patch tool selected, it would not reset that back to the default, which is the spot healing brush, but now it does.
Of course, there are many more hidden gems, including updates to generator, expanded 3D printing capabilities, and improved performance, all waiting for you to explore in Photoshop CC.